The next question says, a spherical conducting shell of inner radius R1 and outer radius R2 has a charge capital Q. A charge negative small q is placed at the center of the shell. The surface charge density on the inner and the outer surface of the cell will be. Now we can assume this to be the spherical shell where the inner radius is R1 and the outer radius is R2 and it has a charge capital Q on the outer surface and a small negative Q is placed at the center of the shell. Now we know that the shell on the inner part or uh, the charge on the inner part of the shell induces charge on the shell itself. So this minus Q will induce plus Q over here by attracting it towards itself in all the sides and the plus Q coming over here results into minus Q on the outside because the net charge due to the induced charges should be zero. So basically I can say the net charge on inner surface is now minus Q sorry plus Q and the net charge on outer surface is going to be capital Q minus Q. So if we go for sigma inner surface that is going to be plus Q upon the surface area which is 4 pi R1 square and for the sigma outer surface it is going to be capital Q minus small q upon 4 pi R2 square and that is the final answer.